Hi guys, welcome back to Lennox Bennett channel as we look at a paper for 2024. Let's go. Question one says, examine the Venn diagram below. Students were asked if they have a brother or a sister. And this says, 30 students were asked to be exact. 21 of brothers, 16 of sisters, 8 of a brother, but not a sister. And the question says, how many students have neither a brother nor a sister? So they want us to find right over here. So let's get ready to rumble. All right, so the information that we got is that the universal set is 30. That's the first set of information they gave us. And it says it have 21 brothers. Now we have eight brothers here. So to get the total brothers, we have to subtract 28 from 21, which gives us 13. So for the intersection, we have 13. Here it says they have 16 sisters. So this already have 13, so we need an additional three to make 16. And of course, this is the universal set of brothers and sisters so it's 8 plus 3 which is 21 plus 3 which gives us a total of 24 so in all we know that's 24 so the total was 30 so it would have been 30 subtract the 24 which gives us 6 so our answer would be b so the number here to call guys to join my class then I'll spend it 549-2161. What are you waiting on? All right, let's look at this one. It says the expanded form of a number is shown below. So we have 4,681. So all we have to do is just add these and we get our answer. Which turns out to be 4,000. 681. Number three says, what are the next two terms in the sequence? So here we have 41. Let's see what they did to get to 47, what they did to get to 54, and so on. We can see a little pattern. So the difference here is 6. However, the difference here would be 7. So it's like each time, adding one to the total. So now we are at 62, so we go to 71, where they added nine. So the next one would be to add 10 to 71, which gives us 81. And then to add 11, because each time we add in an additional one. So our answer would be 81 and 92. Because when you add 81 and 11, that's 92. All right, let's look at number four. It says, which statement is true? The only factors of four are four and one. That is a lie. Factors of four are one, two, and four. Remember, factors are numbers that can go into another number without leaving a remainder. The only factors of five are one and five. That is correct. Since five is a prime number, so because it's a prime number, it has only two factors. So this would be correct. Let's move on to number five. Which operation should be placed in the box to make the number sentence correct? We cannot add, we get a larger number. If we subtract, we cannot get this. Multiply, it has been an even larger number. So it has to be divided. That one is pretty straightforward. Let's look at this one. I'll zoom in this one. The counter clerk in an office checks the weight of a packet. What is the reading of the scale of the point of the arrow? So it's right here that we need to find. But you can see that we're going up by one, 0 0.1 each time. So all you have to do, just check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So because you already have 50, and then that would be point eight. So that is C. Number seven says, which of the following options below is not an example of 
a square number. A square number is when you multiply a number to give you a number. So it's 7 times 7, which gives us 49. 5 times 5, which gives us 25. 4 times 4, which gives us 16. There's no number we can multiply by itself to give us 6. So our answer would be 6. Likely, it's 1 times 6 or 2 times 3. That gives you the 6. See the number there to call, guys, the class. I pull up class. I created another class and it's full. So you guys need to join my class now. Read the rule below and use it to answer. Answer it. In a pattern, each term in the series is found by multiplying the previous term by a constant. So it's an exact number. See, this is the same number. Which pattern would follow this rule? All right, so we can eliminate this because there's no number times zero that can give you one. There's no number that exists. Anything times zero work out to zero. So there's no number, so we can eliminate these two. All right, let's check for this one. One times three is equal to three. Now we have three as the result. So what we have to do, multiply by the same number, which would be three. That would be 9. So that means because you didn't get 9 here, means that you can eliminate this. All right, let's look at this from 1 times 2. That is 2. All right, we are at 2 now. So we're supposed to say 2 times 2. Because remember, it's a constant, same number. 4. And then 4 times 2. That should be 8. 8 times 2. Six. All these numbers are there. 16 times 2. 32. 32 times 2, 64, and so on, and so on. So it is indeed P. Which of the following shows the reciprocal of 0 0.05? First of all, guys, let us write this as a fraction. So we move the decimal place 1, 2, so we know it's going to be 5 over 100. That is the same as 0 0.5, right? That we, let me show the working. So we have 0 0.05, it means I move 1, 2, so it's over 2, 100. So the reciprocal means you flip it, so that means when I reciprocate it, it's going to be 100 over 5. And of course, if we divide that, we get 20. So our answer would be D. Number 10, there are 30 cast members in a play during a rehearsal, only 18 of them showed up. What percentage of the class showed up? So, of course, percentage means out of 100. So, guys, what are you waiting on to join the class, guys? What are you waiting on? Let's go, man. Let's go. Join the class now, all right? So, percent means out of 100. So, that means we can say 18 turn up out of the total, which was 30. And we times that by 100% since that's how we calculate person. Divide by 10, 3 into 3, 1, 3 into that 6. 6 times 10 will go to 60%, which makes sense because it's more than half. 15 would be half of 30, which would be 50%. So it's a little more than 50%. All right, let's look at number 11. In our class, there are 60 students. 31 students like mathematics. Let me draw a for one. They say that the universal should be 60. You can go as well. On. Mathematics is 22. No, 31 students like mathematics. So let's put mathematics. And then let's see if it's, it's going to be intersecting. Yeah, because based on what they said, eight students like both. So we're just representing this on the Venn diagram. So the total for math should be 31. So whatever number it may be, when we add a number to this eight, it should be 31. So we can just subtract. Some people don't know if we should try another show this term, which gives us three. So here would be 23. And they said 22 students like that, so it should be 22. Eight from that you can't to borrow one plus fourteen. So it should look something like this: twenty-three, eight, and fourteen. But check this, guys. This is universal. So it's supposed to be sixty. So that would not be correct. 
However, this one is correct because the universal is 60 and everything else is correct. So guys, look at the questions carefully. They can be a little bit tricky. So the number there to call, 549-2161. In a box, the ratio of red marbles to blue marbles is 74. What, which of the following could be the total number of marbles in this box? So all we have to do is just add the total, which is seven plus four is 11. Now the only number that is divisible by 11 is 22. So that could be P. All right, let's look at 13, which diagram below shows the ratio of unshaded box to the shaded boxes as five to three. Now notice it says unshaded first, whichever the name first, that is the one that you're gonna be. So the bigger portion should be the unshaded. So that's all your duration, guys, very simple. So it can be this because the unshaded is smaller. Let's look at this number. The unshaded is one, two, three, four, five, and the shaded is one, two, three. So B would be our answer. Couldn't be this because the unshaded is two, while the shaded is three. Teach me how to teach you, guys. I'm going to be genius. This one would be one, two, three, four. So it's four, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four to six, which is two thirds also. And let's look at 14. Richard is rolling a number cube with faces numbered one, two, three. What is the probability that the result on the next roll will be an even number? So let us talk about the numbers on the cube. So we are from one to six. So we have a total of six numbers. That's the denominator. So the denominator is the total. Now let's look at how many even numbers that exist. So we have two, four, and six. Remember, we only considered even numbers that are on the cube. So that will be three over six or a half. Now they did not break it down. So it's three out of six. In the figure below, points P, a and R lies on the same plane. What is the sum of the measure of PAS? So let us look at the angle, which is PAS, this angle right here, plus SAR, which is this angle right here. Now everything all together is angle on a straight line. And now angle on a straight line measures 180. So the two angles add up to 180 degrees. All right, guys, so here goes, you're going to join back for part two of the video. All right, so we're halfway there, so you guys are going to join back. Why not spend it tomorrow? No doubt. See the number there, guys, 549-2161. Allow me. Join the class.